Hello. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Um, God damn my nose. I know I said I was going to do my edges in 2022, but uh, I don't feel good. So y'all going to take what y'all can get. I don't know why this cuticle right here is always ashy as fuck. Like, that's ash. That's not me needing a refill. That's me needing cuticle oil. Um, I just have dry cuticles. Anyway, I am riding home in traffic because I had to drive 25 minutes to get a damn COVID test. Um, yeah, don't really think I got COVID. <laughs> I definitely don't. Um, I am tired as shit. Uh, what, hold up, because where are you going? Because where, because where are you going? I am tired. I feel a little better today. Um, but yeah, it's been rough on you, girl. Come on in. Come on. Come on, since you in a rush. Ball headed ass ho. Already starting because they look. Who I just want to go back home? I've been stuck in the house, um, staying away from the public just in case. But I had to go get the check because I can't stay in the house all day. But I don't want to risk being around people, and I do have it. But pretty sure it's just my allergies because the way these lungs set up, baby. If I had COVID, I'd be dying. Um, I would definitely be dying. I got a little cough, a little congestion, you know, going on. <coughs> See? <clears throat> that whole dry too. But anyway, nevertheless, I still <clears throat> got work to do. I got to get on YouTube because my brain can't focus on nothing else because I'm so tired. So, I was like, why not just make a video? You finna be stuck in traffic any fucking way. And... Oh, because I was about to say, I know you ain't finna get over here, because 14 minutes. Fuck. Anyway, so, uh, motivation moment, per usual. I can't keep giving y'all this motivation, because then y'all ain't gonna come to the event, and it's gonna make me mad. So, if you have not signed up for this Motivation When We Live event, what is you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's a virtual option, okay? Um, I know that OmniCovid is out here. <laughs> I keep calling this thing OmniCovid. It ain't got no end in it, sis. Um, I know OmniCovid out here tearing up the world. So, there is definitely a virtual option if you do not feel comfortable coming in person. And I have not decided if I'm going to have to do the whole thing virtual. Um, I do need to decide fast. But anyway, I will let y'all know. Um, so I was doing my Bible study, right? Because in 20, well, let me, I ain't going to say in 2022 I'm going to do more Bible studies. Because I've always done a lot of Bible studies. That's just me. Um, I am that person. So I started one, Joyce Meyer has one called The Battle is the Lord's. Um, and it, it's a book that go with it. But I never had the book. I just had the study guide. Which, you don't really need the book to do the study guide. Um, the book is a good thing to have. I found it for $4 at Barnes & Noble. Shout out to my mom. But, you don't need the book to do the Bible study. And so, the chap chapter 8 that I was working on uh, the other day, the title is Hold Your Peace. And, baby, when I tell you, that one was tough. Okay, that one was tough for me. That was definitely a conviction for me. Because I am a very impulsive person. And the ironic part about it is, every time I try to hold my tongue on something, or I need to hold my tongue on something, I always say, hold my peace. And <clears throat> it just, it started happening out of habit. Like, I would just say, Lord, hold my peace. Hold my peace. Hold my peace. Like, I would just start saying that over and over to keep myself from saying something crazy. Now, it don't always work. Uh, I do forget to do it sometimes. But it's ironic that I actually say that. And then I got into the habit of saying, uh, you can't have my joy. Which, I don't I don't know where. I, I mean, that's a common phrase. Or, you can't steal my joy. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, I talk to myself a lot. And I come up with things to say. Y'all should try it. Because it actually really does help. Why am I exiting? Okay, I know where I'm going. Um, 
also I was she was talking about holding your peace a lot of us have got to learn including me how to hold our peace because I am a very impulsive person I am the one that's gonna be the first to pop off I'm gonna say something crazy I'm gonna do something crazy if you if you say something crazy to me or somebody that I know I, I'm going I'm gonna call you out like it's gonna happen and hence the reason why y'all see me doing reaction videos or like talking on my YouTube about stuff like that okay that's different but I am like I really don't play that shit like when it comes to people just stepping out of line and then I just I don't know like I've gotten better with time and growth but I need to learn to hold my peace a little bit better um especially because this last year and a half has taught me a lot about myself and the level of anger I can get to or the level of uncomfortableness. Uh, it took me out of my element that I was in for like six years and then it's like life was just like boop, switched it. Um, <clears throat> and I wish I would have read that then. And I think even if I would have read it then, I probably wouldn't have like really it wouldn't have really touched me enough to where it's like okay you really need to learn how to hold your peace so as i'm learning i am going to tell y'all to hold your peace all you got in this world is your peace okay that's that's all you that's all that's not of that's important i mean you of course you have other things in this world sir you riding in two lanes like legitimately riding in two lanes like what is you doing with yourself? But your peace is everything. Because if you not at peace, you can't get nothing. What the fuck? Um, I'm cool, y'all. I'm cool. And I, I'm definitely not looking at the camera, especially right now doing traffic. But why this so long? This wasn't this long when I came a few minutes ago. Like, what's back there? Oh, shit, a whole bunch of shit. Damn, I need to clean out my trunk. Uh -huh. That just makes traffic even longer, and I got a piece. But anyway, only time I probably won't hold my pieces in traffic. At like road rage. At, that's going to take a while. Uh, the Lord's still working on me with that one. But anyway, your peace is what's important to you. It's, if you ain't at peace, you, ain't, you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. You're not going to get anything accomplished if you're not at peace with yourself, with your environment, with in your mind, in your body, with God, with others. You're not going to get nothing done. And so a lot of us have that bad habit like me where it's like we react off of things. We let people get under our skin um, and we let people disturb our peace or we let a situation disturb our peace. So we have got to find an alternative. And Joyce Meyer says in the study, you know, by com because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Let's not forget that. So his his number one attack is gonna be your mind. His his attack is your mind and your peace. Because if he could disturb your peace and then make a way to deceive you into believing that if God loves you, then why are you going through this? Or why are you going through that? Or why is this happening? Why is that happening? So he's going to come for your mind above all else. The mind is the devil's playground. Not, not an idle mind. The mind. <laughs> an idle mind is worse, but the mind is the devil's playground. Because if he can get in there... He can control your whole life. So you have to learn to combat that. Or like she says, you have to learn how to combat that with God's word. However you see fit to do it is on you. Me, I talk to myself. I study God's word. I practice positivity and manifestation. I do things like saying, Lord, hold my peace. Hold my peace. Hold it. Hold it. And... When, and it's crazy because when me and Rodney was together, I would be the yeller. Like, I would be the one that would fuss all the time. I would be the one that would yell. And he would be, like, really calm. But I'm also the one to give up first. Like, because I get to a point where it's like, okay. 
<laughs> like whether it's text or in person it don't even have to be him it's just whoever i'm going back and forth with because i i do it to christian too like i do it to my mama it don't matter who i'm arguing with at some point i'm gonna be like okay all right whatever because i'm not finna go back and forth with you that's not what we're gonna do we're not finna do this whole back and forth we're not finna keep because what is that gonna accomplish what is us yelling at each other all fucking day or texting and being mad all fucking day what is that gonna accomplish so ask yourself that question like when you think about you getting into an argument with somebody or you you know in a situation how do you respond to that situation do you hold on to it do you drag it out do you let yourself get you know unhealth unhealthily and i know that's not a word so whatever i don't care it is now unhealthily angry like what how do you reflect on how you react to situations and if you feel like the way you react because there's some people who can hold their peace real good but this ain't this for the ones that that can't like me um if you feel like you don't hold your peace very well or you're a reactive person then you need to change that and you need to find a way to change that it's not gonna happen overnight it's not gonna happen overnight it's gonna take time um but you gotta be intentional about it so like with me and it's crazy because in 2021 i don't a new year's resolution is not really my thing but i promised myself that's what i i stick to that i promised myself and told myself that I was going to go into 2021 with peace and I was going to keep it. I wasn't going to let nobody disturb it. I just wanted to be at peace. I'm the I'm the burn sage in the house, get in the closet and meditate type person. That is me. But I did get to a point in certain situations where my peace was not held. And I lost it. I lost my peace. Not lost it lost my peace and I need to get over right now because yeah I'm gonna stop so but I definitely need to kind of get over soon because I need to make this right though damn I don't think I'm gonna be able to get over y'all I'm finna have to go to Buffalo Speedway to situations of I didn't have a peaceful relationship fuck it let's just be transparent um and so I didn't it was that and then it was other parts of my life that just I was very just all over the place like I couldn't as hard as I tried to hold on to my peace I lost it I lost it it was some I ain't gonna say the whole year I lost it but majority of the year I lost it and again I made a video on letting go of self guilt that was one of the things I was also I felt guilty about I felt bad about because I felt like I had let myself down because it's like okay you literally said you wanted peace this year and you didn't nope you didn't do that um, so I'm gonna need you to do better and why didn't you do that like why did you let the devil win I don't understand. Like, I be having them kind of conversations with myself for a minute, and then I be like, girl, you human. Like, you gonna mess up. You're going to fuck up. <laughs> like, it's gonna happen. You ain't got no choice. So, this year, though, I think I went into it with a different mindset. I went into it more intentional about my peace. And even though we, how many days in? Four days in? And yes, I've been sick. Uh, but other than that, even when I read the Bible study, I was like, damn, that was perfect timing. That was perfect timing. I needed that. So I'm like intentionally going into the new year, holding my peace. Because what you're not going to do is take that away from me. <laughs> like that's that's what you not gonna do situations may take me a little longer or it's gonna be more more hard for me to take a uh, hold my peace with situations than it is with people 
because again i'm quick to just be like i right, you can't steal my joy like that's the mindset i'm in right now and that's the mindset i want everybody else to be in like talking to yourself is very productive uh all the time talking to god for one number one is that and number two is talking to yourself or even if you have to write it down write it down take a picture i don't give a fuck um if you know you know even if you have to write it down or however you have to do it then do it that way whatever works for you i just know talking to myself works for me especially in the moment when i'm dealing with something that's very unpeaceful then it's like okay because i'm a person that's stressed a lot I got anxiety. I'll just create this whole scenario in my head. Most of the time, it's like work related or with TTM when something don't go right and it's game of season. It's like that. Like I said, with situations. But you have to, I want you to be intentional about holding your peace because that, that's what you got. Yo, if your peace is there and it's strong and you're positive, then you can conquer and do anything. You can get anything done. But when your peace is disturbed, your mind and your focus is disturbed. So you ain't going to get nothing done if you're not at peace with yourself, with others, in life, and with God. So we have to learn in this new year. And I don't know who it's for, but it's for somebody. We have to learn in this new year not to let people get under our skin as much. Like, I'm really getting into some fucking shit. <laughs> like, I was already in some fucking shit, but I'm really getting more into the whole fuck it. Like, if I see some shit, then I just be like, uh, fuck it. Or if somebody do something, it's just kind of like, all right, bro, like, I don't have time for this. Hold my peace. And you not, you can't steal my joy. <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm fighting for my peace this year. I'm fighting for my happiness this year. It's not going to be as easy to intimidate me or to get into my mind, devil, like it was last year. Like, it's just not. Like, you're going to have to come hard, bro. Like, you're going to have to come hard because I'm not going down without a fight. And at the end of the day, like the title of the book that I'm reading or the study guide, the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. You have got to let God fight your battles. You cannot go up against the devil by yourself. You can't go up against the devil, period, without God. Like, that's the only match for him. You have got to implement God in your life or the devil will literally bring you down. That is his purpose. That is his sole purpose is to kill and destroy. Steal, kill, and destroy. He gonna steal your joy. He gonna kill your dreams. And he gonna destroy your life. He gonna steal your dreams. He gonna kill your joy. No, that ain't what I said. He gonna steal your joy, kill your dreams, and destroy your mind. I gotta write that down. Yeah, I gotta write that down. I don't forget that. But, but y'all have got to stay on the path. Y'all have got to literally hold your peace. I can't tell you how to do it. I can't tell you what's the best met i can't give you the recipe to holding your peace you're gonna have to find a way that's best for you to do it and at times it ain't gonna be held you're gonna lose it at times you're gonna lose it oh okay you're gonna lose it at times um but you have to learn how to get it back when you lose it don't let it stay lost hmm? you understand when you lose your peace don't let it stay lost get it back fight for it you're, you're gonna have to fight for it. It's not gonna be easy. My bad. My son. Son. It's not gonna be easy. Fight for it. And it's gonna be a hard motherfucking fight. It's gonna be a hard fight. But it's not an impossible fight. Again, it's a fight for God. <clears throat> you are. Think of yourself as a soldier in the army. You are participating, but you're not in charge. You're not the leader. You're not the one who leads the army. You're just a soldier in God's army. 
he is the one who is going to lead the situation. He is the one that is going to equip you with what you need in order to win the battle and then ultimately win the war. Period. That's it. That's it. That, that's that on that. It ain't no need to say nothing else after that. So, be intentional about holding your peace in 2022. Don't let nobody take that from you. Don't let nobody take that from you or take your joy from you. Okay? And even if you got to say that every time somebody tried, Lord, hold my peace. Or you can't steal my joy. Because when you declare it out loud, you're going to run the devil off anyway. He's going to be like, oh, oh, you talking to me? And is who you thought. So... I hate that damn dog. And I'm about to be in the house. That was car motivation. Appreciate y'all for getting me to the crib. Um, Because I was definitely not feeling it. And let's hope this test come back negative. Which it is because I'm declaring it in Jesus name. Um, And I don't feel too bad. I am very tired. But I don't feel that bad. And if I record another video. <clears throat> on my way to Starbucks. I'll drop that too. Because y'all know I definitely want to Starbucks. So until next time, I will see y'all. I'm gonna leave this one. I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, happy 22. Hold your peace. Bye.